What if you could power a bus with thin air? Meet Maxwell Chikambutso, a Zimbabwean inventor who's done just that. His revolutionary $5,000 self-powered bus could change Africa's transportation landscape. Join us as we explore the science behind this incredible invention. Imagine a bus that costs just $5,000 and runs on nothing but air. That's the reality with Maxwell Chikambutso's groundbreaking creation. This self-powered bus has the potential to revolutionize transportation in Africa. It offers affordable and sustainable mobility for millions. Discover the incredible story of this Zimbabwean inventor and his revolutionary bus. Witness the future of transportation. This video unveils a groundbreaking self-powered bus designed by Maxwell Chikambutso. It runs on thin air, defying conventional engineering. Get ready for a glimpse into the innovative design and potential impact of this $5,000 marvel. Watch as we explore how this invention could transform Africa's transport sector. Rural Africa faces immense challenges in accessing essential services. Remote communities struggle with education, healthcare, and economic opportunities. The lack of reliable transportation is a major barrier to development. Millions are cut off from schools, hospitals, and markets. Without mobility, progress remains stagnant. Children walk hours to reach the nearest school. Sick patients delay treatment due to inaccessible roads. Farmers watch their produce rot before reaching buyers. The consequences of limited transportation are devastating. Maxwell's bus aims to solve these problems. It provides safe, affordable, and reliable transportation to rural communities. Unlike traditional buses, it doesn't rely on expensive fuel. Its self-powered technology makes it a game-changer. The design focuses on sustainability and accessibility. People with disabilities can easily board and exit. The bus is built to navigate rough, unpaved roads. Every detail is tailored to Africa's unique needs. Maxwell's invention isn't just a vehicle. It's a lifeline. Stories of impact are already emerging. A young girl in Zimbabwe now attends school daily. Before the bus, she walked 10 kilometers each way. Her grades have improved, and her future is brighter. A mother in Malawi finally reached a hospital in time. She gave birth safely, thanks to the bus's timely arrival. Farmers in Zambia now transport crops without losses. Their incomes have doubled, lifting families out of poverty. The bus is more than transport, it's hope on wheels. Economic empowerment is a key benefit. Small businesses thrive with access to new markets. A seamstress in rural Kenya sells dresses in the nearest town. A fisherman in Uganda delivers fresh catch to restaurants. Women, often marginalized, gain independence through mobility. The bus creates jobs for drivers and mechanics. Local economies grow as money circulates within communities. Maxwell's vision extends beyond transportation. He's building a sustainable future. The bus reduces carbon emissions, protecting the environment. Solar panels supplement its self-charging mechanism. Maintenance is simple, ensuring long-term use. The goal is to scale this solution across Africa. Thousands of buses could connect millions of people. The ripple effect would transform entire regions. Education, healthcare, and commerce would flourish. Maxwell's invention proves that innovation can come from anywhere. Zimbabwe, often overlooked, is now a hub of ingenuity. The $5,000 price tag makes it accessible. Governments and NGOs are taking notice. Investors see potential in mass production. The world is watching as Africa leads in green transport. Skeptics question the science behind the bus. How can it run without conventional fuel? Maxwell's team remains tight-lipped on specifics. Patents are pending, protecting the technology. Independent verification is still underway. But the results speak for themselves. The bus moves, carries passengers, and operates daily. Whether it's magnetic energy or another breakthrough, it works. Critics may doubt, but communities already benefit. The true test is in real-world application. So far, the bus passes with flying colors. The journey hasn't been easy. Maxwell faced skepticism and funding challenges. Traditional automakers dismissed his ideas. Yet, he persisted, driven by a desire to help. 
His story inspires young African inventors, proves that grassroots innovation can succeed. The bus is just the beginning. Maxwell's lab is working on more inventions. A self-powered generator is in development. Affordable housing solutions are also in the works. His mission is to solve Africa's biggest problems. The bus symbolizes what's possible. It shows that poverty isn't a lack of resources, but imagination. With the right vision, even air can power progress. Africa's future is bright, one self-powered bus at a time. Maxwell Chikambutso's invention defies everything we know about energy. Skeptics said it was impossible, but here it is moving effortlessly. The secret lies in its groundbreaking electromagnetic propulsion system. Unlike traditional engines, it doesn't burn fossil fuels or rely on batteries. Instead, it harnesses ambient energy, converting it into motion. The exact mechanics remain proprietary, guarded like a national treasure. But one thing is clear, this isn't perpetual motion nonsense. It's a carefully engineered solution to a real-world problem. The bus's interior is surprisingly spacious, seating 20 passengers comfortably. The seats are made from recycled materials, reinforcing its eco-friendly mission. Large windows allow natural light, reducing the need for electric lighting. A small solar panel on the roof powers the interior fans and displays. Every detail is optimized for efficiency and affordability. The dashboard is simple, no complicated gauges, just a speedometer and charge indicator. Drivers report that it handles smoothly, even on rough terrain. There's no roaring engine, just a faint where as it accelerates. The ride is so quiet, passengers often forget its power differently. Villagers gather in awe as the bus arrives in their community. For many, it's their first time seeing a vehicle that doesn't need fuel. Children run alongside, laughing at the strange, silent machine. Elders touch its sides, whispering about the magic inside. Maxwell watches from a distance, smiling at their reactions. His dream was never just about inventing something new. It was about giving people a chance to move forward. The bus's impact goes beyond transportation. It restores dignity. No longer do mothers have to walk miles under the scorching sun. No longer do students miss school because the journey is too far. No longer do the sick suffer because hospitals are out of reach. The bus bridges the gap between isolation and opportunity. Local leaders are already calling for more units. A single bus can service multiple villages in a day. Routes are carefully planned to maximize efficiency. Drivers, trained by Maxwell's team, become local heroes. They're not just operators, they're lifelines. One driver tells the story of a woman in labor. The nearest clinic was two hours away by foot. The bus got her there in 20 minutes. The baby was born healthy, and the mother named him Maxwell. Stories like these fuel the inventor's determination. But challenges remain. Scaling production requires funding and infrastructure. Some governments hesitate, fearing disruption to existing transport systems. Others worry about maintenance without traditional engines. Maxwell's answer is simple, train local technicians. His workshops teach villagers how to service the buses. This creates jobs while ensuring sustainability. The goal is to make communities self-reliant. No more waiting for foreign aid or expensive imports. The buses are built locally, using locally sourced materials. This keeps costs low and supports regional economies. A single bus costs $5,000 a fraction of conventional alternatives. Compare that to diesel buses, which can exceed $100,000. Fuel savings alone make Maxwell's invention revolutionary. But the real value is in the lives changed. A teacher in Malawi no longer arrives exhausted to class. A farmer in Zambia now sells his crops in the city. A nurse in Zimbabwe reaches remote patients weekly. The bus isn't just a vehicle. It's a catalyst for progress. Scientists and engineers are starting to take notice. Universities invite Maxwell to share his findings. Some accuse him of hiding the technology's secrets. Others beg him to patent it and profit massively. But Maxwell refuses to hoard what could help millions. Instead, he focuses on partnerships with African governments. His condition, 
The buses must remain affordable. No corporate markups, no exploitation. This stance has won him both admiration and enemies. Big oil interests see him as a threat. Traditional automakers dismiss him as a fringe inventor. Yet the people, the ones who matter, believe in him. Crowdfunding campaigns have sprung up to support production. A single viral video of the bus in action drew millions of views. Comments pour in from around the world. Why don't we have this in America? One asks. This is the future, declares another. Maxwell reads them all but stays focused on Africa. His mission was never global fame, it was solving local problems. Still, the world is watching. Investors from Europe and Asia have reached out. Some want to license the technology. Others want to fund expansion. Maxwell listens but remains cautious. He's seen too many African innovations stolen or watered down. His priority is keeping control in African hands. The bus is more than a machine, it's a statement. Proves that Africa doesn't need handouts. It needs belief in its own genius. Maxwell's story echoes past inventors who were ridiculed. Like Tesla, he's challenging entrenched systems. Like Mandela, he's fighting for his people's freedom. Not freedom from oppression, but from dependency. The bus is a rolling symbol of that liberation. Test drives are now being held in multiple countries. Kenya, Nigeria, and South Africa have expressed interest. Each demo draws crowds and media attention. Journalists pepper Maxwell with questions. How does it really work? When will it be available? Could this replace fossil fuels worldwide? He answers patiently but keeps the focus on Africa. Let's solve our problems first, he says. The bus's second prototype is already in development. This one will seat 30 and include a small cargo area. Farmers can now transport goods directly to markets. The design is sleeker, the energy system more efficient. Maxwell's team works tirelessly in their Harare workshop. Mistakes are made, lessons learned, improvements constant. This is innovation in its purest form, trial, error, and triumph. Back in the villages, the first buses keep running. Rain or shine, they complete their routes. Passengers greet each other like old friends. The bus isn't just transport, it's a community. Strangers become neighbors on their daily journeys. A marketplace on wheels forms as people trade goods. Stories, laughter, and even prayers are shared on board. The bus, silent in its operation, has become a voice for change. Maxwell knows this is just the beginning. His vision includes thousands of these buses across Africa. A network of self-powered mobility connecting every corner. No village left behind, no person without access. It's a bold dream, but so was the bus itself. And now that dream is rolling down a dirt road, kicking up dust, not pollution, carrying people, not just passengers, moving forward without looking back.